It's your girl, Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So appreciate you guys stopping by. I went to Bath and Body Works and I'm mad at y'all because nobody told me that there was a sale going on. It, it was just by some weird coincidence that I was just scrolling through Instagram and Bath and Body Works threw up a little promo that they had a sale going on. But guys, when I tell you I got everything, I got everything. Yesterday when I went in store, I looked around and I'm like, oh my God, me and Bath and Body Works, we have the same collection. I have every single mist. I just, I absolutely love Bath and Body Works. Like I'm obsessed. If y'all guys can see. I was really in the middle of ordering my fragrances online. I was willing to wait, but when I saw this one pop up, I was like, uh-uh, hell no. Nah. I said, we, we, we going right now. And I, <laughs> I took out my car keys and I jetted over to Bath and Body Works. Now, the scent that I'm talking about here is Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla. Now, I like the packaging to this one. I think they could have made it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more whimsical, but I'm cool. The fuchsia color looks really, really nice, so I like that. Now, the notes that we have here are Bourbon, Vanilla, Garden, Strawberry, Apricot, Nectar, Pink, Jasmine, and White Oak. Now, I'm going to spray this out just to refresh my memory a little bit. Even though I've been spraying this one all morning trying to get the vibe. I was expecting this fragrance to fall in line a little bit with Sweet Whiskey. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be similar to that. As you all know, Sweet Whiskey is a dark, deep, sweet, berry, boozy type scent. Very sexy and sensual. You know, it just gives off that vibe. And I was kind of expecting that from this with a name like Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla. I thought it was going to be like on 10. I definitely get the strawberry. But this is way more fresh and bright and fruity smelling than I thought it was going to be. I'm not really getting the bourbon, if I'm being completely honest. Like, it's there. It's like a like tonic type of scent. It's like a strawberry tonic drink. So, it's definitely not as sweet and heavy and rich and gourmand as I thought it would have been. It definitely has some gourmand nuances, but it's more of a fruity, fresh gourmand scent rather than like a foodie gourmand scent. It's quite decent, but if you're like me and you were expecting like sweet heavy rich foody type of you know scent that's not what this is i kind of wish it had given me a little bit more than just fresh bright sweet slightly candied strawberry with a slight tonicky feel in the background very fresh spring like summer like i was expecting more but we good you know the funny thing is, I got overzealous and I picked up two thinking it was going to be so bomb, but it's whatever. I may keep it. I may return it. Who knows? But anyway, guys, that's all I got for bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. Next up is Brightest Bloom. Now, this is another one I was excited about because just the name alone tells me that it's going to be a floral type of scent. And if you all follow my channel, you know I love me a nice, pretty, girly type floral. So I was very excited about this one. The notes in here are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. So I'm going to refresh my memory, spray this one out. Mmm. Like, I live for fragrances like this. And, you know, Bath & Body Works, you uh, did yourself with this one. This is a beautiful scent. This literally smells like you're walking through a rainforest right after the rain. Imagine walking through a rainforest. There are a lot of lush white flowers all around you. There are little rain droplets on the green leaves. There's a mild earthy scent all around you. That's what this smells like. I, it legit smells like I'm walking through a rainforest. It just smells so pretty, but you definitely have to be into flowers to like this one for sure because it's a very lush, white, floral, slightly green, earthy kind of scent, but it's very pretty. I really like this one. Next up is Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Now, the colors on this bottle are so bright, so vibrant, so electric. We have some palm trees. Looking at the name, looking at the packaging, I just knew this one was going to be a sweet, fruity, tropical type of scent. And that's exactly what this fragrance is all about. 
So right away, I get the guava. I was not expecting the guava to be so nicely depicted here because a lot of times you know you pick up a fragrance it says guava but you don't really get guava but right here you're definitely getting the guava and i'm also getting the orange but the orange is giving it like a slightly citric feel a bit of a tartness so yeah this is a nice combination of guava and oranges i mean there's really not much complexity to the scent if you like guava and oranges then basically that's what you're getting it's like very juicy though so it's like a guava orange juice all right very nice very fun i could see myself wearing this one on a nice bright hot sunny day when i just want to smell sweet but refreshing at the same time that's basically what you get with this one so yeah this is fiji sunshine guava teeny but next up is talon sweet kiwi and star fruit now this is another a bottle that is really pretty okay the colors are very vibrant you could just look at this and tell that it's gonna be a summery type of scent maybe fruity maybe tropical but let me just refresh my memory i haven't been spraying out this one a lot oh yeah now i know why i haven't really been spraying this one out it's because it's not really a very complex scent very nice okay i'm not saying it's not nice but it's Possibly the most generic one that I picked up yesterday. You're definitely getting that kiwi and the juicy star fruit. But what I do like is that as it approaches the dry down, it gets a little bit more musky. And I like that. If you like fruity tropical scents, if you like kiwis, if you like star fruit, then I don't see you having a problem with this one. Up next is one that I really like. All right. This is a tropidelic. Now, I really like the packaging i like the fact that it's dark but it has some vibrant colors to it so i was like hmm, interested to see what this one is going to be all about now here we have notes of irresistible passion flower ylang ylang and misty rainforest sounds so pretty right okay let me spray it out Ooh, it, it's funny because even before i sprayed it oh guys this is beautiful, beautiful. Like this is what I expect from a tropical fragrance. Guys, this is beautiful. You know how I know when a scent is beautiful because my heart literally races when I smell it. Like I get butterflies. Like y'all don't understand how deep this love goes, okay? This is really, really nice. That passion flower? Oh my God. Like, it's funny because I smelt it yesterday, but for some reason, like, it's like, it really is pretty. This is, this is really pretty. That passion flower is just coming through. It smells very tropical, but more so in a sweet floral type of way. This is just beautiful. Mmm. And there's a perfume in this to it. Like as it's approaching the mid of the fragrance, there's this nice perfumey muskiness coming through that is just really nice. Guys, Chopadelic is really pretty. Like what? What is it? Let me see the notes again. Because baby, Ylang Ylang, Irresistible Passion Flower. Okay. And Mist and misty rainforest guys i don't know even like i can't even tell you how pretty this is this is pretty this is the kind of scent like i would legit compliment someone if they were wearing it like it's not like an ultra serious scent like it's a tropical scent but there's just something about it that is very nice it kind of reminds me a little bit of a fragrance that i used to wear back in the day um, I think it's called um, Mambo by Liz Claiborne. But this one is, in my opinion, better because it smells more modern. Because of that woodsiness in there. There's a nice woodsy muskiness under the tropical flowers in here. It's pretty, guys. If you haven't checked out Tropidelic, check this out. Oh my, it's so pretty. And it smells like something that would really linger because it's a strong scent. I would spray it on myself, but I don't want my nose to become confused. But this baby is really, really nice. This is 
Chopadelic. Next up is Calypso Clementine. Now this one I picked up a couple of weeks back, but I didn't get to talk to you guys about it. So I said, let me take the opportunity to talk to you guys about it. Now here we have notes of Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. So let me just spray here. Mmm. Okay, so that Clementine came out like yelling, okay? <laughs> you really get that Clementine. For those of you guys who may not know, Clementine um, is reminiscent of orange. I think it's within the same family. So you definitely get that sweet, zesty, orangey type, citric type scent. Now, there's a lot of woodsiness behind the Clementine. Now, it does have like a slight perfumey thing going on, which makes it smell a little bit more expensive than it is. I appreciate that. Now, another thing that I'm also observing here is the fact that this could easily pass for a unisex scent. Like, it doesn't really have an identity. This is just Clementine and Woods. So, this is citric. It's woodsy, a bit musky. I like this scent. I really do. This kind of smells like something that could easily come out of the house of Joe Malone. Maybe he would call this Clementine in Woods or something like that. It's giving that fresh, effortless type of vibe. Definitely something that I could see the house of Joe Malone coming out with and people eating it up. Like, I want to see why not. But yeah, that's what I get from this scent. Really nice. This is Calypso Clementine. Up next is another fragrance that I really, really wanted to experience. And when I saw this one, I was like... Ain't no way I'm going to put an order in online and then wait for it to come. I was like, I really, really need to get my nose on this one because it looks like it's going to be right up my alley. The scent that I'm talking about here is Dressed in White. Guys, just check this bottle out. It is just so pretty. I just love the color. I just love the essence that it gives off even before I smell it. It just looks like something I'm going to like. You know what I'm saying? It's just so pretty. I know a lot of people look at this and say, oh, so grandma-ish. It's like flowers and blah, blah, blah. But I love it. Even the little emblem that they have on top here is nicely, you know, complimenting the bottle. And I really like it. I dig the whole packaging. Like, it's giving me feminine vibes, pretty girl vibes, wedding, bridal, like, I don't know. That's just the vibe that I'm getting when I look at this one. Now, the notes in here are pear blossoms, ivory gardenia, and satin wood. So clearly, this is going to be a white floral scent, okay? But let me spray here. Mm, okay, Woo. right away, I get the pear blossoms. And my only criticism for Bath & Body Works is that I wish they would start playing around with other fruits. It just gets a little bit predictable. Once I see white flowers, I just know Bath & Body Works is going to come in with the pear blossoms or the pear or the golden pear or something like that. I think every year they kind of do that. And I want them to play around with other like fruits. I mean, we have watermelon. We have just, we have so many things that they could have just thrown in here and it probably would have been just as pretty. Now the pear blossom is nice in here you know it's giving it like this slight watery fleshy pear type scent very organic smelling so i do like that but right away i could smell the gardenia trying to come through oh it smells really nice this is definitely definitely for my floral lovers uh definitely a daytime scent um summery springtime type scent all right Oh, but it's so pretty. But you have to be into florals in order to like this one. Oh, it smells like a gardenia soap. Mmm, yeah. It, it's, it smells good. It definitely something that I would put on if I'm wearing a nice flowy white dress. It's warm outside. I'm feeling extra feminine. I want to smell clean and fresh and effortless and almost pure and innocent in a way. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this scent. I clearly like this one. This is dressed in white. The next scent that I have here is Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Now this bottle is really, really nice. I like the pink on the pink. The colors are so vibrant and also very electric. It just really pops out. There's palm trees on the bottle. So this clearly is going to be another tropical scent. Now let's spray it out to see what I get. 
So I tried this one yesterday and immediately I was like, oh my God, this literally screams summer. This is one that I'm definitely going to pull for when it gets a little bit warmer. Now there's nothing ultra special about this one. It does smell like a fruity bath and body works tropical type scent. So, you know, don't expect more than that. But there are days that I legit want to smell like this. There's nothing wrong with that. When I smell this, there's a thought or at least a scenery that comes to mind. So I walk into someone's backyard barbecue. There's a big jug of pink lemonade with a bit of pineapple juice thrown in. That's what this smells like. It smells like pink lemonade with a little bit of pineapple thrown in. Yeah, that's what I get. This is Costa Rica pink pineapple sunrise. Another one that I have here is a sea salt coast. The notes that we have here are Salty Air, Water Lotus, and Sandalwood Shores. Now, clearly, this seems like it's going to be somewhat of an aquatic scent, but let's see really, really what it's about. Oh, guys, I like that. Mmm. This is for sure a blue floral aquatic type scent. I like how heavy it is on the floral because a lot of times you know bath and body works they come out with a uh, an aquatic scent and it's just purely aquatic i love it when they balance it out with a nice floral scent and that's exactly what they did here something about it reminds me of clean fresh hair like it smells like freshly shampooed hair or something like that if i smell this on someone I would think, oh, that person smelled clean and fresh and like they just came out of the bath or something like that. It gives that vibes. I really like this one. This is Sea Salt Coast. But next up is Hello Beautiful. Now, the notes in here are white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. So let's spray this out. Let me see what everybody loves so much. I sprayed it yesterday, but guys, there was so much going on. And even yesterday when I came home, you know, I was cooking and I'm just going to smell this one properly. Okay. You know what's funny? It does have like an old school Bath and Body Works type scent. Like <laughs> it does have that type of scent. Now what I'm getting here is probably the Magnolia. It does have like a sweet floral type of scent, but there's like a slight plastic vibe. And I know Magnolia be giving off that plasticky scent sometimes, but not at all in a bad way. I think it makes the fragrance rather unique and interesting. So I like that the Magnolia is playing its role here. I really like that. Hmm. What I get most of all is possibly the Magnolia. Yeah, I'm getting like a nice floral type scent, but there is this plasticky vibe to it. And in my experience, a lot of times Magnolia does have like a slight plasticky tinge, but that, it's not in a bad way. As a matter of fact, I think without that slight plasticky note, it wouldn't be half as pretty or interesting. So I like that it's there. Now there's a slight fruitiness to it coming in from the nectarine. So this is a nice combination of magnolia and nectarine so it's not only about the magnolia and the nectarine there's a nice undertone to this scent like a soapy just out of the shower type scent to this one which i really like oh look at you i really like this scent and i think the packaging is perfect you see it, it's it clearly indicates what i'm getting here you know the flowers but in the background there's this clean fresh feel like exactly what the bottle is depicting is what i'm getting i like this this is hello beautiful but the next one that i have here is one that i'm so happy that i picked up it's limited edition this one is called gingham unstoppable okay so here we have notes of fresh neroli sparkling water and clean musk i'm gonna spray this one out guys let me tell you I almost missed out on this one. I actually found this one at the register. And I asked the lady, I'm like, is this a part of the sale? I smelt it. And baby, when I smelt it, I was like, I threw a second one <laughs> in the bag. Because I'm like, wow, this smells good. And we do have this sparkling water note in this scent. Ooh, and I'm definitely getting it. Like, I know water doesn't have a scent, but 
if you could picture in your mind what water smells like, it's this, okay? But not only is it clean and fresh and pure and just has like a transparent vibe to it, but there's this beautiful clean musk under that water note. It's like a fountain. It's just so pretty. It's just pure. I love this. It's, it's so nice. I really like this one. And you know what? I just picked up on the Neroli. It's there. I I get it. I get it. I'm so glad that I picked up two guys. This is really, really nice. So another one that I have here is Peach Bellini. The notes that we have here are Suckling Peach, Sparkling Prosecco, and Sweet Orange. So let's spray this one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Guys, unfortunately, my audio gave out on me <laughs> before I could describe this scent to you guys. So basically, this scent is a straightforward peach Bellini scent. So it has like a sweet, juicy, peachy type of scent, but it also smells a bit bubbly. So it does have a peach Bellini type scent. Yeah, very straightforward. Anyway, guys, so the yeah, that's it. The last one that it. I have here is one that I was not even going to pick up because I already have it in my collection, but I have half a bottle of this in my collection. But I smelled this in store and was like, hold up. Like, maybe my nose is playing tricks on me, but this version smells like a bit better, which I didn't know was possible, by the way. So I'm talking about iced lemon pound cake, guys. Let me know if you have this new version because it's really speaking to me. And even though I like the original version that came out, I think, last year, for some reason, this one... It smells a little bit more like sweet and gourmand and I didn't think that was possible but I'm definitely getting that here so I'm gonna spray it out okay guys I'm telling you I don't I'm telling you right now this one is more delicious like it's like Oh, it's so good. Like iced lemon pound cake. It's funny because back in the day when I used to go to work every single morning, I used to pass this deli and I would pick up iced lemon pound cake. All right. And I was addicted to iced lemon pound cakes. So to smell it in fragrance form is just amazing to me. I love it when Bath and Body Works just get it right. Okay. This is iced lemon pound cake, period. What can I say? <laughs> you know it's good when I start singing, okay? <laughs> so good. Now, did I even read out the notes? The notes in here are sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake, guys. I'm smelling it right now, and it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, my God, so good. Anyway, guys, so that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to put this out as soon as possible the editing is going to be a little bit rough because you know usually i like to put the notes and everything but obviously if i want to get this video out you know i'm gonna have to not do that because that's very time consuming i do it because i love y'all so much and i want you guys to have that experience but if y'all want just some quick info to decide what you want to get then i'm gonna have to chop chop it up okay guys that's it for me. If you're new to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, go ahead, like this video, comment, whatever. All right. If you enjoyed this video, give me a nice emoji to let me know that you like it. If you are new to the channel and you notice you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe to the channel because this is all we do over here. We talk about smelling good and especially on a budget. Okay. So if that sounds like your type of thing, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. So that's it for me. I'll see y'all in the next upload. Bye.